Okay, so that's the third time my computer has just totally locked up on me and shut down. So I apologize if you've been trying to join my meal planning sessions. I'm definitely having some technical difficulties tonight. But we'll try this one more time and try to get this menu plan for next week. So I've been talking about, um, we went through what we ate last week. And so last week we did the deconstructed PBJ from 2B Mindset. It was delicious. If you follow me on Instagram, I did post a picture of it. It's basically just Greek yogurt mixed with peanut butter powder. I did a little bit of honey instead of stevia and then berries on the side. Very good. And then I tried my, um, I tried to do the turnip fries and I, Tried to cut them with the mandolin, but I'm very terrified of the mandolin because I'm afraid it's gonna cut my fingers off. So I would get the first swipe and it would cut nicely into nice little french fries. And then the second one, the turnip would get stuck in the mandolin and I'd have to like get a knife and get it out. So cutting it was frustrating. And then once I cooked it, they never really got crispy. Um, so they kind of tasted like natural cut kind of soft fries, but they were okay. The flavor was good, and I just wish they had gotten a little crispier, maybe if I had been more patient. Um, and then we talked about how we've been doing their, my husband and I both did the three-day refresh this week. Um, it's basically a cleanse from Beachbody. Um, I was mentioning we've done a juice cleanse before, and that's where you just drink juices. Um, but with the three-day refresh, you actually get to eat real food, and that makes it a lot better, <laughs> and I think it makes it a lot easier to do as well. Um, I was a little afraid with the um, fiber sweep shake. It sounds it kind of sounds dangerous to me. I was like, oh, I'm so glad I work from home. But none of the shakes, um, none of the food throughout sent me to the bathroom or anything like that. Um, it was actually pretty normal for both my husband and I. Um, so it, it went well. It was a great way to kind of reset our eating habits and get back into our, our clean eating habits, especially after the holidays. And I think we've both lost um, a couple of pounds from um, doing the um, refresh and resetting. And then the veggie stir fry that I made that's in the three day refresh book is so delicious. It's so good. I'll definitely be having that again. All right, so we did the three-day refresh and I basically kept everything the same for every day. And then today we finished it, so tomorrow we get to eat new food. But let's go ahead. So the first thing that I like to do whenever I um, plan my menu for the next week is I put in the dates for the next week. So I go to the calendar and next week's dates are gonna start on the 19th. So I'll start with Sunday and just start filling those in. We won't be refreshing next week. So I'm going to make that the 20th, 21st, 22nd, I can't believe January is almost halfway over. I guess it is. I guess today is the halfway mark of January. That's crazy. 24th and 25th. Okay, so then after I put the dates in, then I'll go and I will see what we have going on so monday there's no school so i'll just make note of that to make sure my son usually um, buys his lunch from school so i'll make sure that i have something for him to eat <laughs> and then what else do we have going on next week um flag football practice oh then on thursday i'm going to my husband's awards banquet and my husband won't be here next week uh some some of the week um, so I probably want to make note of that. So I will probably pick things that my son and I would like to eat Thursday. Um, awards banquet. And since I'll be staying downtown with my husband, we're actually, I'm taking the day off on Friday and going to the car show. We are shopping for a new car for myself. So we figured why not go and look at all the cars in one place. And then on Saturday, we have a flag football game. Did I put practice on here? Football practice. And then Saturday is the football game. Okay, so now that I know what's going on, I can kind of plan for the different things. And then, oh, I didn't pop it open again. One of the, so the menu that I've been following, I started To Be Mindset um, when I started Bar Blend. So this is, this would have been my second week of To Be Mindset. So part of it's To Be Mindset and then part of it was the three day refresh. And so they actually have a um, 30 day meal plan on the website. I had it pulled up earlier, but 
with my technical difficulties, it got shut down. Um, so I'm actually gonna pull some recipes off of there. So the first one for breakfast is the cheesy eggs and toast. And that sounds good. So I'm just gonna add that here. Cheesy eggs and toast, and that has it across, so that has the option for cheesy eggs and toast or a banana berry smoothie. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna alternate those two throughout the week. Banana berry smoothie, and I think the recipe for that is on the Beachbody blog. Beachbody blog. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my breakfast from Sunday and then just copy it. So I'm picking two options for breakfast and then just alternating them. Thursday and Saturday. Okay, and then I'm gonna alt do the same thing with the banana berry smoothie. That'll be on Monday and Wednesday. And Friday. Hmm, but you know what? Friday, I'm not gonna be here, so I won't be here that morning, so I'm just gonna put out. Because we'll eat breakfast probably while we're out. Okay, so now that's breakfast. So on 2B Mindset, you basically are really supposed to eat three kind of filling meals. So breakfast, lunch, if you're hungry, have a snack, and then have dinner. Um, I'm pretty used to eating breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, dinner. So it was kind of, it's been kind of an adjustment, but I have figured out some things. Um, she does say if you want to have a tea, then you can have that. And if you're hungry, I mean, you can always have a snack if you're hungry, of course. So I've kind of figured out how to handle that. So on Sunday, I'll do tea. On Monday, since I've been working out with Bar Blend, it's Monday through Friday. So on those days when I work out, I'm going to have Recover as my morning snack and count that as my morning snack. So I'll do a recover shake. So I'm gonna put that in all the morning snack spots. Eee. Come back. Recover. I already have it on Thursdays. <laughs> and then, oh, on Friday, hmm. I wonder if I'll end up doing my workout on Friday or not. Okay, so then I'll put tea there for Friday because I might not work out that day. You know what, I'll probably move my workout to Saturday. Recover. Okay, so now I've got my breakfast and my snack, morning snacks all figured out. So now it's time to go to lunch. And I'm gonna use one of the 2B Mindset lunches that are on here. They have coffee rub steaks with roasted veggies in a, in a tortilla. And I looked up the recipe and it sounds delicious. So I will choose that. Coffee rub steaks with, oops, with roasted veggies in a, Ring tortilla. Okay, and then for the snack, been having, so for the snack, it says snacks are optional. You should start with a vegetable. Then if you're still hungry, you can add in a protein. Then if you're still hungry, you can add in a healthy fat. So I kind of, um, I like the way I have these lined out. I think I have it, the cucumbers in the ranch. What do I have on Thursday? The carrots, okay. Yeah, I like that. I'm gonna copy this, so I'm gonna alternate this cucumbers versus um, carrots and hummus. I'll alternate that for the afternoon snacks. So you can see how it can, your menu can come together pretty quickly when you're just alternating. When you're just having to pick out a couple of items and then alternating them throughout the week. So you still get the variety without getting bored, because no one wants to be bored. Okay, I thought I had a carrot. Oh, I have tomatoes and string cheese. We'll alternate that. Monday, Friday, Wednesday, Monday. Okay, so now I've got all my breakfast, all my snacks taken care of. All right, so dinner. 
For dinner, it suggests the honey mustard salmon with roasted veggies. That sounds good to me. And that's from the To Be Mindset program. Honey mustard salmon with roasted veggies. Okay, and then what I like about how they plan their menus is they do it kind of how I do it. And I'm gonna copy that over and make that my lunch also. But since with lunch you get to have a fiber filled carb, you're gonna add a baked sweet potato to that. So I will add in a baked sweet potato. Okay. And then on. Okay, so the next meal is the creamy calisotto <laughs> with roasted chicken, which is basically risotto made with cauliflower rice. So that looked good. So I will have that calisotto. I was gonna say, if it even thinks that that's a real word. Roasted chicken. And then, oh, it doesn't carry it over to the next day. Hmm. The creamy calisoto with roasted chicken. I want to carry it over to the next day. So I'm going to carry it over and I'll just add brown rice and kind of mix it up with the brown rice. And I think that should work just fine. Paste. Okay, and then on Tuesday. Okay, the other one, cabbage steaks. That just doesn't sound good to me. So I'm gonna skip that one. And the next one we'll do, I have the Brussels and bacon, that's on this week's menu. Um, the Jamaican coconut shrimp and cauliflower rice. I had that last week, but it sounds really good. It was really good and my son liked it and since we'll be eating together, I'll make that again. Jamaican coconut shrimp. And oops, cauliflower rice. And that is, I think that's in the summer. I'll find out. Okay, and then I will carry that over for my lunch. And then on Wednesday, it's football practice. And my son always asks, can we please eat out? And I told him, next week we can. So I'm going to put out there. And we'll pick up something on the way home. And that means I will need something for lunch. I'll probably have leftovers for lunch. And then I'm gonna be at an awards banquet. And then I will probably have something. My um, dad usually will come and stay with my son. So they usually get something together. So I'm gonna mark that as out. And then we will probably eat out when we go to the car show. So a lot of eating out at the end of this. And then by the time we get home, we can have our snack. And then on dinner for Friday, let's try the taco filled zucchini boats. Taco filled. I forgot a letter. Zucchini boats. We'll do that and then we can carry that over and probably add some rice to those. Taco field zucchini boats with brown rice and then we'll eat out on Saturday. So that is basically it. That's how I made my menu. It was a little easier this week since I have the meal plan from 2B Mindset to look at. So it's always nice when you start a new program to have something to kind of guide you and help you um, figure out what you're going to what you're going to have. And until you get used to the program, once you get used to a program, then it's easier to kind of piece together your meal plans from there. But I will get this all formatted up and get it up on the um, blog for you guys. If you're not following me, make sure you're following me at whatsworkinghere.com. And then make sure you subscribe to my newsletter because in the newsletter I go in and kind of give some recipe reviews about um, the different new recipes that we've tried and um, different helpful tips every week in my weekly newsletter. 
but I will see you guys next week.